there's really no safe like Simply Safe. Hello, everybody, and welcome to my house tour. This is a one year update house tour. This feels so odd because I actually filmed this exact video exactly a year ago when the house was blue and it was completely empty. So come on in because we have a lot to go through. So, the first kind of area is the courtyard. Now, this is actually a duplex, as many of you know, that I turned into a single family home. So, the courtyard actually has entrance to what was the lower unit. And then on the other side of the house, there's entrance to the upper unit. Right over here to the left is kind of a little seating area and I've only got to enjoy this for a couple of days so far because I just did this a few days ago and then on the opposite side is this little dining table setup that I did and I love that as well I have yet to use that because the chairs aren't functional but we're going to get them functional and then we're gonna go into the main courtyard area I just did a little sitting area over here. There's actually also this great fountain, which currently it's not working. I've been trying to get it to work for the past couple days, but I think it might be clogged or something. So I'm gonna need some help on that. I have some of my large pots from Olive Atelier that I love. I wanna do like a big, maybe like olive tree or citrus tree in here. Found this great table over on Facebook Marketplace. I love the little wavy edge detail and then kind of the swirls. I definitely am introducing a bunch of iron since this is a Spanish style home. And then the other kind of thing that I haven't talked about is the new paint color because this house actually used to be blue. So it is now painted soft chamois by Benjamin Moore, and then the windows are Tate Olive by Benjamin Moore. So yeah, that's the courtyard. I love coming out here, and we are going to head inside. And before sharing the inside, I have to talk about what keeps everything inside of my home safe, and that is my Simply Safe home security system that I absolutely love. And if you've never heard of Simply Safe, it is literally the most modernized, easiest, simple to set up home security system that can capture and detect threats from break ins to fires, floods, and so much more using many of the different sensors they offer, such as motion sensors, smoke detectors, cameras, entry sensors, temperature, glass break. They have everything. They even have outdoor cameras cameras and their new smart alarm camera is the only indoor camera that can trigger the alarm and blare a built-in siren to instantly deter intruders. Not to mention setting this up is extremely simple. I had the entire system set up in my house in just about an hour from the time that it arrived on my doorstep and there's many different packages and options that you can choose from so you can really customize it to fit your home and make sure everything that you have stays protected and safe, especially heading into the fall season. Now that summer is over and I feel like we spent a lot more time at home, it's a great time of year to actually Actually introduce Simply Safe because with back to school and just being out and about more, you can just make sure that everything at home stays protected. You can keep an eye on it as well using your HD camera. I really love how you're able to monitor and track everything through the app. It makes it super, super convenient. If you'd like to find out any more information or grab your own home security system through Simply Safe, tap the link at the top of my description box below or head to simplysafe.com slash lonefox to save 20% on your Simply Safe security system when you sign up for Fast Protect monitoring and get your first month for free because there really is no safe like simply safe now we are inside and the first room that you actually come into which previously was the dining room of the lower unit is the movie room this is the lone fox cinema so you can come over and watch a movie if you'd like and this is actually a highly highly used room it has a really large tv which i'm going to share with you because it was a great diy project and there's a projector back here that actually projects right onto the screen. And then when you're done, you have this lovely cabinet and this actually stores all of our games in here. Oh, and blankets, pillows, other things like that. And I actually added this material in here because it used to be glass, um, a glass china cabinet. The couch in here, I actually love. I get so many compliments on the sofa when people come over. It is so extremely comfortable, but it's also such a cool piece. Like it's just such a great sofa. I found this on the back of a truck, believe it or not, for free. And then I had it reupholstered and it just fit in this corner of this room perfectly. Like there's one inch on either side of the wall. So it was almost made for this there's like eight of us that can sit on here at once and then watch movies or whatever and then over on the other side is just kind of some additional seating i have two chairs in here at the moment which is not how it's supposed to be but we had a lot of people over the other day so ended up bringing another one in 
and that's the movie room. In here is actually the lower kitchen. There's two kitchens. Now this kitchen, I kind of want to pull out some of the things like might not need two ovens in here. At the moment, I kind of want to strip it a little bit and make it more so a snack bar for our movie room. I love the tile in here. It has the original 1920s tile, so I definitely want to keep that. And I'll say the tile in the kitchen is actually the best shape out of all of the original tile. It looks really great. And I love this arch over here. Um, actually behind me is a little breakfast nook area, but we're currently using that as kind of package where packages go. Um, so we're unpacking a lot of packages and I work with brands on projects. So a lot of the supplies and stuff is in there. That's why I blocked it off so you can't really see. But I love this archway. It's one of my favorite architectural little details of this house. And then right over on the opposite side of the kitchen is actually the laundry room of the lower unit. And I love the laundry room down here. I have to do something cute. I don't know, again, if I'm gonna keep this as a laundry room, this could be like a little art studio is what I'm thinking and have like convert the laundry space into where it could be a large trough sink. Um, and I love all the little coves and stairwell details, but I pictured this as an area almost like where I can actually have a studio space to work in. Um, I could film like little DIY project videos, have an overhead filming situation. And I just don't think I need two laundries, of course. But let's exit out of here and then head to the hallway where all the bedrooms are. So one of the first rooms off of the hallway is actually this bathroom, which again has original tile. Now this bathroom doesn't have the best original tile. There's a lot of patches that are done. Um, you can kind of see like some of them here as well. However, I do want to keep the tile in here. Whether I go through and try to like restore it a little bit, I have someone come out and help. This is one of the bathrooms that I actually really do like. There's another pink and green bathroom, which you might have saw in the background of the laundry room over there. However, that one actually is extremely damaged the floors all cracked out of it. So I think I might have to actually reno that bathroom. But this one I love, it has a shower right here. There's a bath right here. And I'm kind of thinking of doing like one of those rings over the top that has like a shower curtain, introduce some fabric um, because I definitely want to make this bathroom feel like it's a part of the rest of the house. And as you guys know, pink probably wouldn't have been my first option for tile in here. However, it's a cute color, so we're gonna make it work. Right around the corner is actually my little studio storage room, so let's go there. So it might look a little green out here because in all of the rooms downstairs, actually they get quite a bit of red bounce back, but honestly, for my supplies and stuff, it is so pretty. It gives them like this warm glow. So I have both of the rooms down here as kind of like storage, studio room spaces where I do not mind the red glow because it's not like I'm photographing in here. It's just like a storage space and it kind of adds like this really pretty vibe, which I don't mind. Now, as you can see, I have just like some garage storage shelves that I keep all of what I wanna use for my own projects in this room. So everything you see in here is kind of like my own collection of items. I have things ranging from like rugs and vases, uh, more vases, light fixtures, pillows. And these are just things that I've collected that I wanna keep for projects that I'm working on. I mean, we have an entire little flower section over here. Marie actually did a really great job ordering a bunch of organization for this room. So I'll link all the organizational like supplies that we used in here in the description box if you're curious. But that's the studio room. This is where I also pull, you know, some of my supplies for my DIY projects. The shelving unit actually behind is majority supplies. So like everything in here ranges from spray paint to paints, uh, scissors, tape, this is all candle holders. I have a candle holder like obsession. This is my personal studio room that I pull from for my projects. So let's actually head to the other room where I shoot a lot of the items for the store and where I have items for sale for you guys. So let's go over there. So in the back of the house, we have two rooms. Now this one actually in my six month tour probably was my parents' guest room. It's actually been converted into a furniture storage room. And this room is my decor storage room. So let me share with you both. They are both basically spaces that I'm using to store items. I actually love this room so much. I had it painted white. It actually used to be a bright kind of purple color. And this is my studio room where I actually film DIY projects. It's where I shoot everything for the website. It's where I shoot finished projects. Um, and it's where I store all of my vintage finds that I resell during my vintage drops, which I believe the actual, I'll put it on the screen for you if you want to mark your calendar because I haven't done one in a while. I think the last one was like six months ago. You can get a little idea of some of the things I've been collecting right here. And then there's also 
also two more bookcases back here, but I'm gonna leave those as a surprise because they're full of vintage items. And all of this stuff is just things I find when I'm out flea market shopping. Um, like for example, I found this lamp the other day and it was like $15 and I just couldn't pass it up. So I just like always find little things and I love offering them on the site for you guys. And then my parents will come down and actually pick it all up and then they ship it from our warehouse space in Arizona, which is really cool. I shoot the products on this table right here. Um, this is a lot of the artwork and we ship all the vintage art out of LA. So there's just a lot happening in the lower unit. It's kind of like the Lone Fox studio area with a movie theater. And then upstairs is kind of like where we actually live. So I'm gonna share with you just a little furniture room right around the corner. But this is the furniture room. Um, there's a lot of furniture in here. It's all very nicely organized as you can see, not at all. This was my parents' bed in the back, but the thing is is that we actually have a guest room upstairs now for them. So I'm currently using this because it's much easier to bring furniture pieces in and put them on the lower floor than have to haul them upstairs and put them in that room. So we kind of just swapped the guest room upstairs for the time being while I have have a bunch of furniture down here because these are pieces that I'm just using for projects at the moment. It's kind of like where I'm storing them. I don't want to have to purchase a storage space since I do have this large home. So I figure some of the rooms for the time being are just going to be storage. And um, that's just what it is. So the downstairs has three storage rooms and that is actually all of the downstairs. There's a pink and green bathroom in there. Um, but yeah, she just, I'll put some clips of her. She just needs a little help. So we're in the main living room. Uh, this is one of my favorite spaces in the entire home. Now actually right over there is the doorway. So that gives you an idea of kind of where we're at. And what created this into a single family home actually was opening up this arch here. So this actually used to be one solid wall. And I opened this archway into what was just like the entry door and the stairwell up to the second unit. And it feels so like just natural. It's also really nice that the floor lines met up perfectly. I love this room because it's nice and light and bright. As much as you guys know I love my moody spaces, I also really do love light, bright, and airy spaces. It's what I love to work in. Um, and this area is where I'm always editing videos, where I'm editing photos, taking meetings. Like I love being in this room so much. And we have this really great sofa from Castlery in here. Coffee table is from Berber Imports and all of the curtain panels in the entire house are from two pages. So I will link everything I can for you guys per room in the description box below. Now I do have quite a few vintage pieces. So um, I'll try to find like dupes if there are any, like this armchair over here that I found on Facebook Marketplace. It's a French armchair from like 1890. It is such a cool chair. The shape of it's incredible and the color too. So a little kind of game table that I did over here with some chairs and a buffet that we use as a bar. And this is like where everyone comes. It's the first room you walk into of the house. So when we have guests over, this is where everyone is. This is this room and we can now head upstairs, which is just right through this archway. You might have also noticed that the tapestry is not in the living room downstairs. I actually took it off because it was sent out for a little exciting project, which I'll share with you guys soon. When it comes back, it's actually going to be put up in the stairwell. I originally didn't love the idea of putting in the stairwell. I thought it felt very cliche to put a big tapestry in the stairwell, but after seeing everyone's comments about it and kind of thinking about it more, I'm going to get the stairwell painted because it's currently very yellow and I'm going to add the tapestry here with like a nice big iron pole. So welcome to the grand living room as I'm going to be calling this space. It really is kind of the more formal living room. We do actually have a TV in here and we do use it all the time, but it's on this great easel. I did this little like hack and I shared it with you guys if you're curious. I mounted this TV on the easel and it kind of looks like a picture when you don't see the wires on the backside. Uh, also removed the mantle from the fireplace to bring it back to its like original quality. And the reason I purchased this home was the cathedral ceiling, like this dark brown cathedral ceiling with the original painting on the beams was the main reason. And believe it or not, there was actually no light fixture or electricity in here. So I had to have someone drill through the beam and add electrical. It was a whole thing, but I found this 1920s chandelier from a home in Long Beach and we hung it in the center. And I did all these built-ins in the back, which just looks so incredible. Believe it or not, again, these are Ikea that I kind of reframed all the fronts on found these antique stained glass doors in Pasadena. So these were from a home in Pasadena and they just happened to fit 
perfectly in this door jam. Like I could not believe how perfectly they fit. And when I found that out, they had to go here. Gosh, I mean, there's a lot to say about this living room. It's one of like the most interesting spaces I feel like in the home. And this bookshelf actually isn't supposed to be living here. This is the sister of the dining table that I purchased a while back. But when I moved into this home and I found out that my friend Brittany at Badlands still had the bookcase, I had to have the matching set because when I lived at my apartment, I didn't have space for the bookcase. So moving into the home, I really wanted to keep them as a pair since they were always together. But I do also wanna mention that something that changed in here were the curtain colors. So I used to have those gray curtain panels, if you guys remember, but I actually thought the gray just felt a little dark in here. And when I did the first tour, I was wondering why it just kind of felt dark. And I ended up going back and doing a light curtain and I love these so much more. Right over here in the living room is kind of like this little bonus area, which actually is my office space. And some things are gonna be changing in here, which I'm gonna be sharing with you guys shortly in another video. I definitely want to change up a little bit ever since kind of living with it now for a couple of weeks since creating it. I feel like I know what I wanna do. Sometimes that happens in design. So this is the office. I mean, I love the base of it, the color and everything is staying. I did all of this DIY ceiling, which was such a process, but turned out so good. And it coordinates with the ceiling in here. And then over here is a large storage unit. It's really nice. It has all like 14 drawers across the front of it. And then I just have some of my favorite decor pieces here. I wanna redo this area as well. I feel like it's something that I kind of half did when I did this living room. And this mirror is such a cool one. Found this in Venice and it is a one of a kind kind of mirror made of metal. It's such a fun one. I love how it's on this swirly base. And that is the grand living room. <laughs> I don't know why I'm calling it grand living room, but I mean, it kind of is, right? So now we are in the dining room. And this was a table that I was mentioning that went with that bookcase. So I bought the table first. And then about a year later, I purchased the home and she still had the bookcase. So I had to get the bookcase that matched. So this actually used to be one solid wall with a tiny flap door right here. And it was a butler's pantry before. So it was just kind of all cabinetry and it would, I guess, just be where you would store a bunch, but I turned it into like this archway that framed out this coffee bar. And I did all this incredible Calicutta Monet marble in here. And the marble in the uppers was actually an afterthought. I had some remnants and I had enough to fill this entire section. So we did that, which I love. And then this is the kitchen, which I love. This was a huge undertaking. I feel like this probably was the room I spent the most time on repainted all the cabinetry a color called Van Buren Brown. I pulled the color kind of from the marble. I loved the bits of brown in here. There's a ton of purple throughout. It's kind of like a Calicutta Monet mixed with a viola. Um, you can kind of see some viola vibes up in here, but I was so strategic on how I wanted the marble to lay. Like I placed every single template, that way everything was really symmetrical and it was exactly how I wanted it. Like I really wanted the marble to flow into kind of like this organic look even in this archway over here so we did the marble all the way down and it also has really great lighting as well i love the lanterns that we did they look so good and then i also did this diy which was a full-on kind of built-in range hood people think it looks like the front of a jeep like these are like the headlights <laughs> like the grill so that's lovely and here is the breakfast nook which is such a cute little space um, there's usually five chairs in here, but I have two of them downstairs for a photo I was taking. I do wanna do a few tweaks in here, just a couple since living with it. We have to give a moment for the tile in here because that was also a labor of love. Like Justin and I spent so much time tiling this entire section into the coffee bar area as well. And this arch was also added. It used to just be a tiny little flap door, which leads back into the dining room area. I almost forgot to share that through the other side of the kitchen is actually the laundry room. So that is where the laundry is. This is actually directly above what I shared with you underneath with kind of the yellow and green tiled kitchen in front and the laundry room right here, which I kind of want to turn into that art studio space. And then this will be our actual laundry room 
which currently is being walled up right here. This is a small little bathroom on the opposite side. We're walling this off so that I can add more storage here. So the first bedroom is Marie's bedroom, and this is the most recent makeover on the channel and one of my favorite makeovers to date ever. I absolutely love the way that this room turned out. It's so feminine, yet it kind of has this like masculine feel to it as well, which is perfect. I feel like that matches Marie's like aesthetic and vibe so much. And you've all seen this room a lot. So I'm just gonna give you a couple clips of it. There was three videos on the entire makeover. So I will link all those below if you are curious on how this room kind of came to be. Love the way that this little vignette kind of turned out over here as well. And there's just two more rooms down the hall. This is my bedroom, which I love my bedroom. It gets honestly the best lighting in the home, which, you know, is necessary. I love it. It kind of has this like pop out bay window, which is really great. And the design in here is kind of random. Like I haven't really actually designed this space. It has a bunch of just furniture pieces that I've thrown in here. Um, to use like functionally at the time. I definitely gonna keep my nightstands and um, this bench over here that I got from Pottery Barn, but I definitely need a new bed. Had this bed for years, it's actually breaking at the moment. And then this I had gotten for the vanity in my bathroom. When I get to the bathroom makeover, this will pop into the bathroom and this is going to be kind of the vanity area. Through this area is actually my bathroom. Now this doorway actually used to have a door on it and we accidentally threw the door away so it's doorless, but it's from my room into here. So I think it's fine. I actually kind of want to arch this and turn it into just like a, a passageway. And this is the bathroom. It's kind of dark. They tiled it all in like this faux kind of slate tile on all the walls. I'm assuming that this probably also had a pink or yellow tile on it. I would have loved to have known what the original colors in these ones were. And then they installed this bathtub here, which doesn't actually work. It's very gray, very rental grade and it's just not the exact aesthetic that I'm going for in this space. The only thing I like in here is like the ceiling light. That's about all. I'm really excited to get in here and add some color. So this is our guest room. Now this is actually where Marie was staying for the like three weeks we were working on her bedroom for. And this is where I was mentioning that my parents can now stay when they come over or any guests can stay. Just because I have all that furniture in that downstairs room. But the goal in the future is to actually have either two guest rooms or maybe like a guest room and then one that can be converted into an additional guest room, kind of like a makeshift space. I love this room. It's just like a perfect little squared off room. It has really pretty lighting in it. And this is also where Marie's bathroom is. And that's just because she selected the larger room and she's using this bathroom. There were so many people that were like, I can't believe that you would not let Marie have this room. She had the option. She could have had this room but she wanted the larger one. And she also has this closet here because why not? And this is actually where the walled off wall is because there was two doors in this bathroom. You could see like it's as big as my arm span. It's a really small bathroom. So I I'm walling this off at the moment and there's gonna be quite a big design happening in here, which will be on the channel. It's currently gray, very similar to the other bathroom. They use like the same exact tile. That is the entire tour of my house, a one year update. I hope that you guys loved this video and I will just do a proper outro. I don't really know what I wanna say at the moment. <laughs>